Why is no one talking about Malachi Flynn? This year's 29th overall draft pick Flynn completely outplayed the hyped up number 3 pick Lamelo in their first two matchups in the preseason. And even though Flynn's looking like yet another draft steal for Masai Ujiri and the brilliant Raptor front office, every bit of attention has gone to Lamelo. So this video sheds light on why Malachi's shot creation is a perfect fit with Toronto's offense, why so many teams passed on him in the draft, and stay tuned to see the intriguing all-star player comparison I have for the man. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to DFlow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, welcome aboard. You definitely came to the right place. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post content, which is at least twice a week. Don't get me wrong, LaMelo had his moments making some nice flashy passes and dropping a solid 12 points in his second game against the Toronto Raptors, but if you've been on Instagram and Twitter recently following Bleacher Report or the NBA, your timeline was flooded with clips of LaMelo. But the narrative of the big baller dominating in his pro debut is simply a false one. Toronto's rookie backup point guard Malachi Flynn played just three more minutes than the hyped up LaMelo, but more than doubled ball in scoring while also dropping more assists and posting a plus minus of plus 48, leading the Raptors to two consecutive wins in Charlotte to kick off the year. I know it's only the preseason, but with the way Malachi is scoring off the dribble, he looks like a player that's been in the league for half a decade. He's also shown off some surprisingly pesky defense as he held LaMelo to 3 of 15 shooting from the field and forced LaMelo into 7 turnovers in their 2 matchups. I'm about to break down Malachi's fit in the Raps offense for you, but it's interesting that the NBA's social media posted endless LaMelo clips and didn't give any attention to how Toronto's recent draft pick played. Toronto's been desperate for a player to create offense individually ever since the departure of the Claw. And while the rookie Malachi Flynn won't be Kawhi Leonard, his ability to manufacture shots will significantly help out the Raptor offense. At San Diego State University in his senior season, Flynn showed off his flashy scoring skill by leading the Aztecs in scoring to a 30-2 record and a Mountain West Conference championship. With range on his jump shot that stretches out to 30 feet, along with a shifty dribbling ability, Flynn owned the college game in 2019-20. As a senior, Malachi also proved he can bring it up the full length of the court, stop on a dime, and seamlessly transition into a fluid three-point shot. Combine that with his playmaking vision and his ability to either finish through contact or make floaters at the basket, and the Raptors have a legitimate shot-creating asset in Malachi Flynn. And he's a perfect fit with Toronto because ISO shot creation isn't a big-time strong suit for Toronto's top players. I know Van Vliet, Lowry, and Siakam can get ISO buckets from time to time, but it's not their primary strength. They'd rather play in the pick and roll. Whether or not Flynn's efficiency is great right off the bat as a rookie, the way in which Flynn can manufacture shot attempts from nothing will help the flow and momentum of the Raptor offense. So coming off the bench next to Norman Powell, a guy who thrives playing off the ball, Malachi Flynn's abilities could significantly improve the contending Raptors. So Masai Ujiri, Bobby Webster, and the Raptors front office have pulled off another steal on draft day by landing Malachi with the 29th pick. Don't forget current all-star Pascal Siakam was the number 27 pick in 2016, Van Vliet was undrafted in that year, top wing defender OG Ananobi was the 23rd pick in 2017, and Norman Powell was the 47th pick back in 2015. So just because Flynn's not a hyped up lottery pick, it doesn't mean he can't be a core piece for the Raps. But if you're wondering why the talented player I've been breaking down this whole video wasn't taken by your team in the draft, that's not necessarily on them, but it's simply the result of how brilliant the Raptors' scouting and general management is at evaluating talent. Now for Malachi Flynn's player comparison and his overall potential. Even though he's a rookie who just played in a D1 conference that barely gets any attention, Malachi already seems built for the moment like a five-year pro and composes a very polished offensive skill set. That's because he played three years in college as he redshirted his junior season. Two other guards who played through to their senior college seasons are firstly Flynn's current teammate Fred Van Vliet, but also an all-star in Damian Lillard. Not to say Flynn will reach Lillard's level, but guards who spend more than one or two seasons in college to develop their games under coaches are often better suited for the NBA. 
The reason I just brought up Lillard is because Flynn's shifty ball handling and range from distance relate to him, but Dame's obviously on another level. However, with Malachi's Jason Tatum-like shooting release and saucy dribble combinations he can put on defenders, he could eventually be anywhere from an 18 to 25 point scorer in the league. Lillard was given the keys to the Blazers organization right off the bat, while Flynn will have to come off the bench and be directly behind two elite point guards, Fred and Kyle, in the rotation. In terms of his rookie season, I expect Flynn to have a prime Jared Jack on the Warriors type impact. I'm about to tell you my exact analysis for Malachi's ceiling, but here's what Flynn's college coach said about his drive at San Diego State. When he arrived on campus, we knew he was a uniquely talented basketball player. What we quickly learned was that he had an intense work ethic and a team-first mentality which endeared him to his teammates and the community. With the work ethic he displayed in college combined with his scrappy defensive presence and Dame Time-esque step back and shot creation from the perimeter to the paint, this is truly a unique prospect. The 22-year-old's now in a Toronto organization that puts together a contending roster every year, and I think a Goran Dragic slash Damian Lillard hybrid is my ceiling for Malachi. He won't average 30 like Dame, but his playmaking awareness and general IQ on both ends of the floor make the sky the limit for him. But for next video shout out, what's your player comparison for Malachi Flynn and why? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops for updates on every video I post and more. That's at dflowhoops, links in the description. Keep watching some of my recent uploads. I just ranked every point guard in basketball, so go check that out. But this was dflow, and I'll see you next video.